Greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel, and we do accept uh, lecture requests. So this was a request for a little uh, ditty on Die 90. Die 90 is a memory aid device to, to remind us of the flow through of net investment income from a mutual fund to the mutual fund shareholders. The D is for dividends on the stocks in the portfolio, plus the interest on the bonds in the mutual fund portfolio, less the expenses. As long as the mutual fund passes through at least 90% of that, the IRS has been kind enough to say they'll wait and get the money from the mutual fund shareholders. Most mutual funds do much, much, much better than that. If we didn't have a subchapter M or the conduit or pipeline theory, what would happen is the corporation would make money pay taxes. The corporation then pays either interest on its bonds or dividends on its stocks that the mutual fund portfolio owns and it'd be taxable to the fund. And the fund would distribute that uh, dividend to you, the mutual fund shareholder, and you'd get taxed. My God, that money would be taxed three times. So if the fund distributes at least 90% of its net investment income, it's considered a regulated investment company under subchapter M, and you're excused from paying tax too because of the flow through. So the die 90, again, is the dividends plus the interest, less the expenses, that equals uh, net investment in income. Now, there's another investment vehicle that's very similar. It's similar in that you buy it for professional management, like you do a mutual fund. It's similar in that it provides you diversification. It's similar in that it provides, it provides ease of ownership. Uh, but instead of being a portfolio of securities, it's a portfolio of real estate. And so what we're talking about in this little uh, carve out is the flow through of profits and losses from the structure, whether it's a mutual fund structure, REIT structure, partnership structure. In mutual funds and REITs, only the net investment income flows through to the shareholders, not the losses. Losses do not flow through. The only business structure in which losses flow, flow through, both profits and losses, are direct participation programs, also known as partnerships. And those structures, those investment vehicles, both profits and losses flow through to the limited partners. Now, the K-1 is what will show the distribution from the partnership and whether that's a pro rata, you know, profit or loss. And one thing is that the uh, losses from the partnership are considered to be passive activity losses. And you can only use those against passive income. So the tax consequences of the partnership to the uh, limited partners stays within that category of their portfolio called passive. And I made a note here, corporations, there is no flow through of profits or losses to the shareholders. You know, the tax consequences are realized by the corporation. And then, the, you know, the board would decide whether or not to distribute a portion of the earnings as a dividend to the shareholders. I mean, you do not have a right to a dividend. You only have a right to a dividend if declared. But again, if you think about it, the corporation makes money, pays taxes, then pays you a dividend, and then you're paying taxes on that dividend as well. So double taxation. But without subchapter M, it would be triple <laughs> taxation. So I hope you found this little carve out helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, series seven is a cinch. Yard by yard, series seven is hard. I will also put this in the SIE exam playlist and the 6566 exam playlist because it's testable on those exams as well. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.